Hi, welcome to Revival Cycles Tech Talk. I'm Stefan, and today we're talking about batteries. So one of the questions we get on a pretty regular basis is where did you hide the battery? Um, it really it depends on the build. Sometimes it's in the tail, sometimes it's in the tank. But the real secret to how it's done is using a lithium iron phosphate battery. Um, these little guys pack all the punch of a conventional battery, but as you can see, they're a whole lot smaller. What you can't see is that they're also a whole lot lighter. So this is our pretty average generic conventional motorcycle battery. And just as a reference, all right, conventional lead acid weighs in at just under 13 pounds. And lithium iron phosphate comes in at about two and three quarters of a pound. So it's a huge weight savings you can get just from changing your battery. One of the other things that's important when selecting a battery is getting the specifications right. So there are basically three things that determine the performance of a battery. It's voltage, cold cranking amps, and then the capacity, which is typically measured in amp hours. So as an example, this generic lead acid battery that we've chosen has a rating of 375 cold cranking amps, whereas this lithium iron phosphate battery has a cold cranking amp rating of 360. Now that is a little bit less, but really it's less than 5% difference. And if you consider how manufacturers will frequently embellish their ratings, it's probably within the tolerance of uh, the error tolerance of even making this measurement. So end of the day, same cold cranking amperage between these two batteries. The third one, of course, the capacity. Uh, this battery is rated at 18 amp hours and this one's rated at 12. So that's a little bit more of a difference, but ultimately, this battery still has enough power to start your bike through 15 to 20 cranking cycles. And if your bike doesn't start within 15 to 20 cranking cycles, it's likely you have some other problem. Reserve capacity for the most part with motorcycles isn't that critical if you've got your bike tuned correctly. So for most applications, 12 amp hours is more than enough. So there are other lithium iron phosphate batteries on the market, but we've decided that anti-gravity is the one that we prefer to use for a variety of reasons. Um, the first is that it's made in the United States and we always like to support our local manufacturers. And more importantly, the case is a durable thermoplastic and it's completely sealed. So you don't have to worry about water getting in there and um, it can stand up to the rigors that you see in application on a motorcycle. And one of the other things that's really nice about this is how they've arranged the hardwares and the, and the fasteners for actually mounting the cables. Uh, you've got a nice threaded insert that's rigidly connected to the, to the body of the battery and just a really simple six millimeter th threaded bolt that you can just tighten down your terminals. So that kind of covers roughly um, what we do about the battery situation here at Revival. And of course, if you've got any questions about an installation or an application that you're working on, give us a phone call, send us an email. We're always here to answer your questions and help you get your project sorted out. Thanks for watching.